Hey guys, it's XD40 Lou here in the RC Garage. Ooh, we're getting warm here in Arizona. We're, we hit like in the 90s already. We should be shooting up close to the 100s pretty soon. Anyway, uh, so I'm here in the uh, RC Garage and I uh, wanted to... Uh, this is my, uh, what I call Jethro's truck. And it's one of my favorite, favorite trucks. I built this one uh, body by hand everything scratch built and it's on a gen 8 platform but uh yeah so i was watching a couple of videos let me put it on pause here real quick i was watching a couple of videos uh one is by uh, gary at rc trail cats and one is by brent over at adventure time now brent is doing a trailer a welding trailer and gary did a welding truck very cool if you guys get a chance uh that welding truck is really neat and so uh I, I you know i just inspired by those guys and what they built so uh by no means this is any of my ideas but uh i wanted to do a trailer because uh, i'm not going to convert the truck into a a welding truck per se i'm going to leave that truck is done i'm real happy with it but uh you know i've had a couple of little trailers here uh, oh, let me move my water bottle here. So I have a an a old, what I call junk trailer that I built. Now the thing with this trailer is that it's really low compared to this truck. The height difference is really massive. And that's because I built it for a different truck and it was sat a lot lower. So um, I want to make this the welding trailer. Uh, I like the look of it. I like the older, you know, kind of weathered look to it. So, and it's all done already. So I want to make this my welding trailer. And then I have this other trailer. And this is my bike trailer. But the chassis on this one is much higher. So the plan is today. And again, uh, what stuff is trickling in really slow. At least on my end of it anyway. I don't know. Maybe, I know there, some of you guys get them a little quicker, stuff in a little quicker. But, I guess with the way things are going now, I usually buy from Amazon. And, man, their stuff is taking three, four weeks. So, I'm waiting for the Marauder killer body for my Gen 8 to come in. And that's my next project. And then I haven't decided. I have another Gen 8. Plus, I'm also going to be ordering sometime this week my uh, TRX4 Sport. Been doing a lot of looking around and looking at the reviews and it's a great little truck. Uh, everybody that has it has highly recommended it. So that's going to be my next truck that I buy. It's going to be the kit. So um, I'll be getting that in. I'll be ordering that towards the end of this week. And so yeah, um, just waiting for stuff to trickle in. And this is some of my summer projects uh, i have a bulletin board full of little projects that i want to get done but i figure well you know what i might as well start on it it's getting hot anyway uh they're saying we may be close to the hundreds by next week already so time to get the ac going anyway i'm sorry i'm rambling uh yeah so anyway I'll, thanks to the guys you know the inspiration that's going to be the plan this will be my new uh um uh, welding trailer and uh hopefully i'm going to try to make as many of the parts uh that i can by um uh, scratch built uh basically this trailer scratch built too i mean it's i just scratch built it and then uh, weathered it so yeah so anyway i'm going to get this chassis that chassis and those are 1.9 super swampers so that'll also raise it up and I'm going to put it on this chassis, on this trailer. So that's the plan for the next day or two is to be making that while I wait for other stuff to trickle in. Take care, guys. Have a hope you're having a great summer coming up and uh, stay safe out there. And we'll be seeing you. XD40 Lou out.